Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Redenso RC, uh, the interface, the buttons, the menu options, etc. cetera. Uh, this is actually Redenso's upcoming uh, standalone remote mount radar detector. Uh, now this is actually the Genevo Pro. It's the European version of it. And it's got European firmware, but it's gonna be a good preview of the, uh, the upcoming Redenso RC. Uh, I'm gonna be able to download a firmware update and put American software on it. But in any event, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So uh, let's see, we've got our power button here, long press to turn it on and off, which I'm gonna skip for now. Or we can go into the menu this way. Uh, we'll go into the menu here in just a minute. We'll exit the menu for now though. So right here is gonna be our brightness options. Dim, smart dark, full dark, bright. Okay, uh, now if we long press it, uh, the button actually doesn't do anything. However, if we've got a K-band alert going on. K-band. So there's what that looks like. If we long press this, that'll actually go ahead and start the GPS lockout learning process. And now uh, it's gonna go ahead and learn this area as a lockout zone. False alert area added. The signal's gone and it says, okay, now this area is our GPS lockout. If we come back to it in the future, it gives us one beep and you can see K-band, a little L for lockout, and a front arrow saying that signal is up ahead. Cool. If we want to unlock the signal, I'll give this guy a long press again. And we have the option of adding this as a new lockout or deleting the original lockout. False alert, area deleted. Cool. And then if we come by again. K-band. There we go. I'm just going to press this real quick to mute it. So you can see the way the display works. We've got uh, the band, signal strength. Uh, signal strength again, one through nine, uh, and the front arrow right there as well. Uh, I only have the front antenna plugged in right now. I've got another antenna in my car, so once I get this guy installed in my car, I'll be able to test out the arrows. But uh, anyway, let's see, can we unmute? Ah, cool, I can unmute. That's awesome. Okay, so that's lockouts. Uh, this button right here. City mode. Auto city mode. Ah, just like the RPSC. Highway mode. Cool. Uh, and then if we long press the button. User location added. Uh, we can mark this location if we want to get notified every time we come by here. It could be a speed trap or whatever else, right? Uh, and then last ones, we've got our volume buttons here. Uh, goes all the way quiet, no beeps. If we go all the way down, that's nice. And very loud, <laughs> all the way up. That's good to see. All right, so uh, there's our interface, our display, and the different buttons. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the menu options. So short press. Uh, this is going to go through the different menu options. Uh, this will exit the menu. This doesn't do anything. Um, and this will actually change our options. So front radar detector, rear radar detector. Cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, just like before. Okay. Uh, speed. This can be our low speed muting. Okay. Uh, front antenna X band off. Front antenna K band. Do wide narrow or off. I'll put what uh, wide and narrow are on screen. Uh, let's see, we've got our K-band filters. Cool. Uh, KA, we've got a couple different options. Wide we'll need here for the US. Uh, narrow and K-band off. Uh, check this out. I'll put it in KA narrow to enable the different segments and take a look at the segments that are loaded in. We've got 34-0, 34-3, 34.7, let's turn that guy on, and 35.5. Uh, there's no 33.8. Again, this is a European firmware, so not American radar. This is for European radar, right? Oops, and I exited the menu because it times out, so let's jump back into it real quick. All right, so KA filter low. A couple different options for KA filter. Let's see laser, on and off. Uh, jammers, we've got a couple different options for jammers. Check this out, this is new. So you can integrate it with the Genevo FF laser jammers, or you can integrate it with the ALP. Check that out. So I'm not sure how that works yet, but I'm definitely going to have to test that. All right. Uh, display mode. What can we display on screen? Cool. So a bunch of different things. Let's do that for now. Why not? Okay. So we've got our auto mute, uh, startup. Okay, GPS connected announcement, GPS, so we can alert to speed cameras. Okay, I'm guessing the American version will also have like uh, red light cameras and whatnot. Okay, GPS warning distance, a couple different options, cool. 
Uh, let's see, we can set our time. The time is set via GPS, and then you just set the, uh, the time zone offset like this. A couple different languages. All right, we could factory reset, get all default settings. Let's see, we can delete all user locations. That was this one. We manually pressed, and then we can also delete all of our lockouts that we set with that. And we got our serial number, and back to the beginning. So cool. Uh, there we go. There's a look at uh, the different buttons, display, interface, and menu options for the uh, Genevo Pro slash upcoming Redenso RC. So cool. I'm actually really excited about this guy. I think it's a really promising radar detector. So anyways, uh, there you go. There's a quick look at it and more videos to come. See you guys in a bit.